the learning objective of this topic are to determine the feasible solution using the northwest corner method feasible solution is the solution which satisfies the all the supply and demand constraint and which gives you a solution which may be feasible which may be optimum or which may not be optimum now here we are going to use the northwest corner method so there are three factories factory f1 f2 and f3 located at the three different locations and which supply products to the various five retail agencies so a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 are the retail agencies which get the products from this source factories so factories are the source and the retail agencies are the destination the cost of unit product transportation is given in the following matrix so this matrix is having the cost of unit product transportations so if from factory f1 we are transporting one atom to this a1 the cost is 1 similarly if we are transporting from factory f1 one atom to a2 the cost of transportation for unit product is 9 similarly all these costs for various combination are given over here now the objective is to determine the total transportation cost with the help of northwest corner method the capacity of this particular factory f1 is 50 capacity of f2 is 100 and capacity of f3 is 150 so from factory 1 you are free to transport any number of product not exceeding 50 to the either a1 a2 a3 a4 or a5 but only thing is that it should not exceed the 50 similarly from f2 you can only transport 100 products and from f3 you can only transport up to 150 products this retail agency a1 is having only requirement of 100 units a2 is having the requirement of 60 units a3 is having the requirement of 50 units a4 is having the requirement of 50 units and a5 is having the requirement of 50 units now one can see that the total summation of all these capacities of f1 f2 and f3 is 300 at the same time total summation of these requirements of a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 is also an 300 so we can say that this is an balanced transportation problem if these two figures are not matching it, it becomes an unbalanced transportation problem and we have to solve this problem with a different approach so what is a north north means upper side and west means left side right now this cost of unit transportation problem okay i have represent in the left top corner now we have to allocate the products in northwest fashion so we will consider the first cell which is located at the north and west so this this is your the first cell and we will allocate maximum amount whatever is possible so here you can see that the capacity of this f1 is 50 right and requirement from a1 is 100 so i can only allocate 50 number of units right so i have allocated the 50 number of units now what will happen that this capacity will be exhausted so this 50 will be become 0 and this 100 will become 50 and at the same time i will not be able to allocate anything from this f1 factory so i have marked it as red now going to the next step now here you can see that again out of remaining matrix the if we consider the northwest corner so this is your northwest corner so the maximum quantity that we can allocate is again 50 because requirement for this a1 
is now 50 so that is now fulfilled right and the capacity of this f2 was 100 now but we have supplied the 50 so the remaining quantity will be 50 so the 50 is the balance over here and the total requirement of this a1 has been fulfilled so i will mark it as a red now out of this remaining matrix one can figure out that this particular cell is at the north west corner so i will see how much i can allocate now I can allocate only 50 because the capacity remaining capacity of this F2 is 50 now that is also exhausted and it has become now 0 and this 60 will be reduced to 10 again we can see that we cannot allocate anything in these cells because it has become 0 now out of this remaining matrix the northwest cell is this cell and the maximum amount I can allocate is 10 because only 10 is the remaining requirement. So I will allocate 10 over here and this 10 will be fulfilled and it will become 0. From this 150 only 140 will be available. Again out of these 3 cells the northwest cell is this cell and I can allocate 50 units to this so I will allocate 50 units over here and it will fulfill the capacity it will fulfill the requirement of this a3 and there will not be any requirement and out of this 140 90 will remain again out of these two cells the northwest cell would be this cell and I will allocate the 50 because the requirement is 50 and that much quantity is available so requirement will be fulfilled so there will be no requirement now and out of this 90 only 40 units are remaining and in last cell you can see that the requirement is also 40 and capacity is also 40 so i am allocating all the 40 units over here before we actually calculate the transportation cost let us see whether this solution satisfies the constraint or not the supply side is maximum 50 and it is being fulfilled the total summation in this row should be equal to the maximum possible capacity so it is satisfying this constraint again this 50 plus 50 is coming 100 so this is also satisfying this constraint and this 10 plus 50 plus 50 plus 40 which becomes 150 so we can say that all these three supply constraints are being satisfied similarly 50 plus 50 100 50 plus 10 60 so 50 is equal to 50 50 is equal to 50 and 40 is equal to 40 so again it is satisfying all the demand constraint also so we can say that it is a feasible solution as it is satisfying all the demand and supply constraint now in order to calculate the transportation cost we have to make the summation of these two figures so this 50 is nothing but we are transporting 50 number of units from factory f1 to this retail agency a1 and cost of unit transportation is 1 so if i transport 50 units and the cost of each unit of transportation is 1 rupees so it becomes an 50 rupees so we can say that 50 into 1 similarly for this sale I can say that 50 into 24 similarly 50 into 12 similarly 10 into 33 similarly 50 into 1 similarly 23 into 50 and similarly 26 into 40 so total cost of transportation is given by 4420 thank you